I grew up painting and doing art at a very young age, but I guess my fascination for how things were put together uh, was always probably the strongest. And so when it came to surfing, riding one board or another board was naturally fascinating, but I wanted to know how it worked. And To me, it always has come down to what's the best line on the wave. The pros can have lines that we dream of, which an aspiring line is great, like that's a progression, but an available line is not always unattainable. It's just visioning, having the vision to see it, and then knowing how to get there and which equipment is gonna be the most progressive always, because that'll, essentially you surf in the wave properly, but you're gonna surf more wave better. Once you decode the value of why we're trying to stay on rail, how to stay on rails is your technique, but why you're trying to stay on rails is the very most important thing. And I think it happens as a kid when you, your knees get forward and you, you get that sensation. And that's what's happening with the foils and the rails and the engagement. It's pressure and release, so the technical elements you don't need to describe, but you have to have made them keep you up at night and go, I'm coming back tomorrow. The stuff I have learned about how one's mind works is, you know, being a creative thinker and a more lineal approach to something is left and right brain. And I really, for myself, find the, the beauty in when those two can really start to dance.